Hello, hello. I am here. I am here. I'm here. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. <clears throat> Can't thou hear me? You should be able to. You should be able to. Uh, uh. I'm shaking my own head. I'm buzzing my own brain. Okay. So, Moon Pie requested that we play a game called Sin and Punishment, which I believe is the last N64 game ever released. And this is it. Um. I don't I don't really know what it's about. Let's do some training, maybe that'll Am I doing it wrong? What's happening? Oh, I see. That's kind of twitchy now. So basically, once you, uh, once it makes the noise, then you release the stick. And you can still pull it off of it. Okay, so it's going to be another one of those N64 games. Wait, I can strafe with this, too? <laughs> this is kind of fun. Oh, shit! This is like human pilot wings.
<laughs> Why does it look like all the coins say flint? That voice is annoying. I feel like something's like... Inside my brain. Hello, hello. Okay, that's a little better. Testing, testing. Yeah, I get it, I get it. Okay. <laughs> okay. No. Oh shit! Is this what the game is gonna be like? Cause I'm gonna suck at it! Oh! Stop closing on me, friggin' door! No! I'm a male? Yeah, I get it. Time to be punished for your sins. My first sin is thinking this male character looks like a pretty lady from behind. I thought it was like Sam Saran. I mean, instead, I'm... Raiden from Metal Gear. So, already we're off to a, a rough start. I mean, I immediately love this game, because it's really weird. And it's an N64 game, so I, like, implicit... Wait, did I just double jump? Yeah. Well, I mean, they all have, like, spindly, broken arms. Oh, I can. Look at that shit. Look at that. Oh, no. I think it's safer to use it like this, even though it's probably not. So this is this is another uh, day katana situation, where I have to use the right stick to move my character. Yeah, I get it. Double jumping. Okay, so I just want to explain the controls. So imagine imagine the Xbox controller in your hand. So I have to use I have to use the right stick to move back and forth. The left stick to aim the cursor around. So it's just backwards. Uh L2 is I mean, I guess I could remap everything, right? But would that be cheating? I feel like it's disrespectful to the game to give it a better control scheme. Top, top. Top, top. Power, bottom, bottom. I'm Qbert. I just love that it's like Star Fox. Yeah, exactly. Which item restores some time? Maybe the one that says time. Let's practice the sword attack.
Oh. All right, I got gotcha. you. So basically wait till the last second and then fire to do a sword attack. I'm the coach's father. So you've been training with my daughter, but you will not take her away from me? What? My missiles will keep you from getting her ever again. Oh my God. So I can use the, the sword to reflect bats at the father of the coach. Get wrecked. Wellity, wellity, wellity. Welcome in, Moon Pie. Oddish, can you give a shout out to Moon Pie for suggesting this wonderful game? No, I don't want to delete all save data. Wait. These are all so bad. <laughs> what? So you knew this would be hard to find? You bastard. You're like, you can either buy games, play this virus game. I'm not distributing ROMs to you. That's illegal. How dare you? Uh... How doth I leave this? Sound? Mono? <laughs> Easy or normal? Let's do normal. I mean, normal's not hard, right? Oh! <laughs> Moon Pie's like, here, play uh, Trojan Kong Country. It's like Donkey Kong Country, but with more Trojans that lead you a backdoor to Brazil. They can steal your valuable data. That's that's the story, Adish. So, like, originally we were going to play Donkey Kong Country The Return. Yeah, stream the DK virus game. I mean, it looked fun. Get bonus. It just happens to be a virus game. Oh, okay. So when they were making this game, were they like, I want human Star Fox and I want it now? Can I be real though? I kind of love this game. It kind of reminds me of Space Harrier, which I also love. And Panzer Dragoon, <laughs> which I also, also love. It's another win. It's like Moon Pie might give you a uh, Donkey Kong flavored virus every now and then. But he, he does have good taste. We didn't all grow up in South Africa playing mobile games, Oddish. Most of us grew up in the 90s not playing this because it wasn't released in America. We we're all renting Buck Bumble. Just kidding. We couldn't even believe that Buck Bumble existed. We knew deep down we weren't good enough because we went to Catholic school. And there was this deep-seated guilt inside of us. So we're like, someday when we're older. I had to rent games, too. Really? 
I didn't even have a memory card. Oh no. That is sad. I thought you were rich. Now I feel bad. Yeah, I thought that was true too. They I remember when this came out to the Wii U store and I was like, oh that's interesting. But I from based on like everything that uh I read about the game, I had no I still no had no idea. I didn't watch a video of it, I just read about it. I was like, what is this game? I don't understand it. Look how deformed the uh Osaki. the characters are in this. Good it's like morning, nightmare Osaki. creatures. Good morning, I Good morning, Iran. Come on, we've got work to do. Let's go. What? Are we child soldiers? What is happening? This game, like, simultaneously looks awful and amazing. It's also kind of like Time Crisis, a little bit. Look, I'll... I tried to find this game for what felt like hours. And eventually I did. You guys are my friends, so it's okay if I shoot you, right? Saki. Take care of it, Sora! Oh my god. Time Crisis, Hydra Thunder. I will say this game is really fun to play, and unlike Daikatana, because it's like on basically on rails the whole time, uh, it's much easier to like understand how it controls. No, oh, oh, I walked into that. The only thing that's bad is that I'm gonna have to, like, use my thumb. Oop. Where's my time bonus here? Oh, there it is. That was very close. Credit plus one. This is fun. I mean, I'm almost positive this never would have sold because nobody would have been able to like figure out what kind of game it was. But I have a feeling that if people had actually gotten the chance to play this, they would really like it. At least so far. Oh, shit. I forgot to use sword. Okay, that was a little confusing. Nice that it has voice acting. I ran, cover our backs. Faints. I'm not used to this. I'm, I only play Final Fantasy 14 now. I was like not looking forward to playing this because I was like, this looks weird, and now I like really like it. And of course, I think that's how I felt about Einhander too. I was like, this looks weird. That's how I feel every time someone requests a game. I don't know. Uh, like when uh, Owl requested West of Loathing, I was like, no way. Oh, 
hold the N64 controller backward. Yeah, I can I can see that because it's like it is. It's pure backwards. It's like aim with the st the left stick, move with the right, shoot with the L button, basically. On, quick. Into Shinjuku Station. Hurry, the Ruffian swarm has started attacking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do it that way too. Yeah. I was thinking about redoing it so that like. Uh, you know, they're just remapping it, but I felt like it wouldn't be fair to the game and its it weirdness. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, exactly. So you've played this, just the Japanese version of it? Oh shit, that, that really fucked me up. Hey, I wanted that. We should play Dinosaur Planet next. What's great about this game is it's reminding me that there are games that aren't Final Fantasy XIV. And while I have to disagree with that idea, I like it. Hand injury? I didn't know about that. A little bit too much of the old looking at Christina Hendricks online. Please continue. The dog bite thing? I don't think I know about that. Or if I do, I wiped it from my memory. Doesn't sound familiar. Or if you did, I didn't realize it was a permanent injury. This is like the, like on rail shooter equivalent of a shmup. I wonder what Mixer would think of this game. If you guys get a chance and you haven't already, pop over to Sconebone's stream too. He's doing a 24 hour stream. He's at the tail end of it, I think, right now. I watched a few hours of it, but not the full 24. Ouch. Oh, at the base joint? Ugh, that's so frustrating. I'm sorry to hear that. Lizard Seamer? How am I gonna beat this guy? Yeah, I bet. I'm sorry to hear that.
Where's like the time bonus? With your cast last year. You see Mixer's been playing Ocarina. He hates it so much. It's so funny to watch. Wait, 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 I get it. I get it now. Right, right. That's how you do it, right? You reflect those things back at him. I love how everything looks upscaled. Not much worth watching? What about good old Scone and Mixer? I can't be the only thing. You need to get deeper into the retro guys. You need to get into Proto Shield and um, Thunderfoot Bros and all those good guys. Rydia and. Rat 707. I'll, I'll show you the way. There's lots of good streams. You don't have to watch my crummy stream all day. But I do appreciate your loyalty. But yeah, I was like, okay. But this whole thing... I just have twitched out. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, sometimes I'm in the... Tw Most of the time, if I'm, I'm, if I'm just chilling out or need to put something on in the background, I'll do Twitch, but sometimes I need something narrative. And granted, I've I've heard that uh, the new Fallout show is good, but I've yet to watch it yet. Oh shit, that is it. Wait, no, it's him. It's him. Yes! Yes, that is how you do it. Sucky. You can't watch troll games? That what do you mean? Buck isn't a troll game. Are you talking about Lord Pokems playing Superman 64? Because starting tomorrow, I've got to do the girl game gauntlet, and it is going to be rough. Half the games on it are, like, good. No, actually, that's not true. Like, two games on it are probably good, and then, like, the rest are probably really bad. Yeah, everything in, in girl game gauntlet that is a little overrated. Uh, my bad, my bad. We'll get to hear that tomorrow. I think Mixer's playing Bubsy next. I'm like last in line to play Bubsy. So it probably won't be for a couple months. But yeah, I do want to do Girl Game Gone, but...
I'm getting closer to him. Saki. It's really hard, though. Credit six? Oh, no. I mean, he might be. He might just have bad graphics, so we can't tell. Seamer. Maybe it's like Lizard Coomer. Not Lizard Actually. Lizard Actual. Uh, Maverick, you're approaching Lizard Actual. Am I toast? It's hard to tell. It worked! Oh my god. That's the only way to do that. So the way it works is that you do much much less damage on uh, Oh, I need that. I need that. Ta 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 Moth Seamer? Just got my baked brie out of the oven. Apples, cranberry raisins, brown sugar, honey. Man, this guy's a good chef. Why was moth seamer so much easier than lizard seamer? Wait, what part's your PB? That lizard seamer? What an asshole. Oh ho! You fucking lizard seamer. How am I supposed to avoid that? Are you playing it on normal or easy? Oh, that's nice. They let me start here. You know, you know what this reminds me of, in terms of its, like, needless ambitiousness, is, uh... Uh, Astral Chain.
General Radon, you're toast. Top, 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 top. My research materials. How could you? Uh, they were trying to kill me, you dumb bitch. So you're the leader of these killers. <laughs> Caught you up on Scott. He's one of the rebels. Sin and punishment? You take him. He's only human. Now's our chance to test the power of the blood you gave me. Mm hmm? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Toe. <laughs> he sounds like Frankie Muniz to me. I need the combat data from these weapons. I'm going to I'm going to be serious. I really like this game. I think it's jank ass controls make it memorable. Oh. Should have jumped that. Oh, I did it. The way the sword works is very interesting. <laughs> His face. Everyone looks like some sort of like twisted Hot Topic doll. <laughs> Meanwhile, Japan explodes. Oh no, the power of her blood or something. Show me what you've got. Once again, this is what mushrooms is like. So Achi and her friends have it in them too? If he's got Achi's blood in him, then what in the world is he? Who's gonna share their blood with me? This is fucking sick. Oh shit, I turned into an astral chain. See? The Dark Souls boss? Manus, the hands of fate. Let's play some more Dark Souls. That game is really fun too. Such good games to play. <laughs> I thought I could sneak it. I thought I could sneak it. Please continue. Please continue. Okay, this is This is more like a punch out fight. So you just got to watch which way the arm goes. Pretty generous hitbox if you're jumping. Oh. But not if you stand in the center. Oh, so he can move that thing. Get bonus. Get bonus. What? It oh shit! I'm still going here. Saki. Saki.
I don't think I was supposed to wipe my entire health bar on that shit. Well, well, okay. You sort of like phase dodge in this suit. The wave that came up afterwards fucking killed me. I don't know. Should I be playing this on easy? I feel like I should. I'm almost out of continues. This is bad. It's so hard to do the strafe with the control stick. Okay, always jump over that one. That's the jab, and then fourth is the run around. Okay. I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. Double jump the wave? Okay. I guess not, or else I'm just timing way wrong.
Please tell me that's the end. That seemed early. It seems like it hits me when the, the stuff rises up in my feet. Did I just kill them? <laughs> what the fuck is the story? Fan done, official? Got me. I understand your feelings, Brad. Can't lose you too. Retreat. There's no hope for Japan. <laughs> There's an enemy out there. A monster. I won't let it run free. There's a monster right there, son of a bitch. It's a Digimon. I lost Kachua. Now it's Achi's turn to lose something. Kachua's gone. Think of the living. Like me. Somebody's kid. Redon. Kachua, the women I passed my blood to, how could they? Achi, I'm going to show the world how weak your beast really is. If you know what I mean. This is the safest spot. It's the armed volunteer ship. Attention, attention. Our defense of Tokyo has failed, but we shall remain in Japan to battle this new beast. Beast? I thought you guys died. Just shoot the camera? Oh. Him. So he's their commander. That's just a plate on the wall, buddy. What? Oh, my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. What? I'm gonna get seasick. Wait, it's the thing. You can two player this game? Okay, I can't reflect those, apparently. This sucks. I don't know what's happening. Game over. Are you kidding me? Wait, scene select? Yeah, me too.
Ill Bastardo. Wait, you can hit some stuff back. You can hit the, uh... Am I even hitting it? Yes! Wait, no, come back! You're so dead now that I've learned your secrets Lita Are you snarfing my ass? I snarfed it so good, snarf. There we go. So you'll let me play that level, but only for four minutes, and then it's over. Fine. Wait. Wait, can I have continued my hard game? Well, whatever. This game needs passwords. Limited continues suck. Oh, okay. Get bonus. Get bonus, though. Get bonus. We'll beat it all the way through on easy, and then if we're really good, we'll beat it through on hard. Or, I mean, normal. Yellow Killer B Seamer. B Luxy Seamer. Technically, they're all Seamers. And Coomers. And Goons. Top, top. I feel like Panzer Dragoon had limited continues, but then it also let you start from a level 
Oh. This honestly doesn't seem that different than, uh... Normal mode. Maybe I just take less damage and they give me more time. When I can continue to flip those? Nice. Yeah, that's right. I killed all your asses. Is this also a cabinet game that you can put credits into? I don't think it was. I thought it was just straight up an N64 title. But doesn't it feel like it should be a cabinet game? Take care of it, Saki. Oddish, have you tried to see if uh, 14 will run on your system? Why am I so hungry today? I feel like I already had my daily recommended. Oh, really? Just now? Right, I figured you were just doing the free trial version. Did you use that code, the referral code thing I gave you? I think that gives me some shit. You still have the one I gave you because I can pause and okay gotcha let me look that up for you real quick nobody look at my mog station double checking to see it's what no I am a real person Okay, I'm just gonna send it to you on Discord. Who's this? Okay, Oddish. I think, I, I think that's the code. Um, so when they ask you if, if you have a referral code when you set up in your account, or maybe just look up how to use a referral code for it, make sure we're doing it right. I've never done it before, so I don't really know. Oh, now I'm super washed out. I think because it's like... Uh... The lighting changed. It was light outside when I started. Okay, if I ever get super washed out like that again, like I'm blindingly Irish looking, Conan O'Brien style, just let me know and I'll... I'd prefer to know. Just say, sure, you're blindingly white. Okay, apologies, we'll go back. Oh, 
Oh, my brain, my poor brain started trying to control this game as if it was a reasonably controlling game. Oh, shit. That's kind of crazy that you can just slice those ships. Iron, cover our backs. Iron. This is honestly the uh, Ikaruga of N64 games that make no sense. Sorry, I mean the Einhander of games that make no sense. Yeah, they're just handing out the life on this version. So the way you use the sword is kind of weird. It's like you stop shooting. And you pre you just hit the shoot button again. I wonder why they chose to do that as opposed to doing a different... Maybe because you have to move and they want you to be able to move and use the sword. So you can reflect those missiles back at them. So physical projectiles, like you might think, you can reject. Uh, reflect, but bullets are not big enough to be physical projectiles. Speaking of Infinity Blades, the sword rem or I'm sorry, speaking of mobile games, the sword sort of reminds me of that Infinity Blade mo mobile game with all the swiping swords. Yeah, toast. Yeah, Infinity Blade was fun. So, Oddish, have you made much progress? I know you've only been playing it for the past couple, maybe just this weekend, if you've had time. But have you made any uh, progress? with the, uh... Okay, that's, that's the way to do that, is use lock-on mode, and then... I, I feel like I'm all over the place, I apologize. Have you made any progress in Persona? Yeah. Oh, for Matarame. Okay, so you're post palace. Gotcha. Get bonus. Right, right, with Dr. Legs. Tay. I forget who started calling her Dr. Legs. I picked that up from somebody. <laughs> Blotcher? Okay, we'll do that uh, next Monday then. Oddish is the one who got it for me. Good friend, me? No, that can't be right. Let me, uh... My research materials. How could you? So you're the leader of these killers. Hmm. <laughs> He's one of the rebels. 
Okay, I added it to the list. Let me take him. He's only human. Now's our This looks really cool. I have no idea what's going on now. No, I haven't. Oh, I at uh when I was at my new favorite bar, Green Dragon Inn, uh uh they were playing anime on the screen. They were replaying Psyche K, which is one of my favorite comedy animes. Oh great, we're back here. I need to get back in my headspace for doing this. Uh and they were also playing some weird slice of life music anime that was like really wholesome and dumb. Psyche K is so funny. Okay, that, that, I can't tell if that was easier just cause, okay, I think we did that right that time. But yeah, I love Psyche K, it's very funny. I forget what the Slice of Life uh, music show is called, but it seemed pretty good. Okay, that felt considerably easier on easy. Maybe because I'm just taking less damage, and maybe my, I do more damage? That's, that's my guess. It doesn't seem like anything else is different. Okay, this is the level we left out on. I do like that she has, like, Jill Valentine's outfit on. Oh, there's the boss right there. I didn't even realize. I don't like this part. Oh, I get it. I was like, why do they give me these things that I can't shoot at the right angle? It's because I'm supposed to jump. That's supposed to... I, I, I love Japanese game design. I just I just do. Like, sometimes I feel like American game design, like, forgets the basics. That's the bad guy, I guess. I think I have enough time that I can just wait here. That didn't work that time. Maybe I need to double jump it every time. But yeah, I've got... Yeah, I'm trying to. Thank you. I appreciate that, Moon Pie. It's just, it's a lot easier on easy, but also it's probably considerably easier because I'm no, I know what to do on these levels now. But playing through the training mode was a good idea, because it does teach you basically everything you need to do in these levels. Like, if I hadn't played the training mode, I would not know how to reflect shit. Oh. Wait, I already did that. I forgot that I already beat Lita.
Is this the thing? Get bonus. Get equipped with bonus. <laughs> the jump rope boss. Oh no. Oh no. The decoy octopus. Okay, this is tough. I can't imagine how hard this would be on normal. I'm not even hitting it. What am I aiming at? Okay, that, those cannons. Oh yeah, Star Fox is way easier than this. The only hard part of Star Fox is knowing the sort of like arbitrary steps you have to jump through to get to the hidden levels. But also, Star Fox makes just fundamentally more sense than that. <laughs> oh, I need that. No. What is that? Anemone Seamer? Yeah, I only hate fighting those guys' ships that can't lock onto in the hard venom suit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Andros, you show your true form. Uncle Andros, I failed you. I told you guys about my love of a fox in space, the fan-made anime. My eyes, the goggles, they do not think. Centipoid. Oh no, it's a mantis shrimp. Or a dung beetle? I don't know what's happening here. Oh no! This is very hard to do because it's very hard to do the dash or uh, the side roll. Oh no! Hey, at least it's not a one hit kill. This is fucking sick! Wait, I need to do the lock-on. No, 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 Pikmin Dengar! There we go. No! Okay, okay. Crawfish Seamer? Oh. This is when it's hard because they're hitting me in the mechanic that I can't really do on this controller. Are you kidding me? Come on! Lock on! Mouse Seamer. Oh, I got so lucky there. They, uh, they name their enemies in this game. You could have just 
the way that they they name business units at Square Enix. Why is everything voiced by a 12-year-old? They're all that remain of Achi and her followers. It's quite possible that the girl has inherited Achi's blood. This time, I will face them. Achi Machi. Well, Commander, now I'll avenge my friends. The pleasure will be all mine. Cool pose. Uh, Lita, Lita's here too. Wait, I have to shoot Lita at Brad? That's kind of funny. Also had strange powers. What is with your head? Strange powers indeed. It seems Achi has taught you nothing. My powers were given to me by Achi. Achi <laughs> Three hits through the window. The same goes for that kid who transformed into the beast. Saki is nothing like you. I never thought you'd try to make friends by passing your blood. Everyone looks Perhaps so horrifying. Perhaps research for your transformation. Change can be a scary thing when you don't know how to change back. This looks nothing like Mischief Makers. Hi, Ren. Do you want to change Saki back into a human? Watch out. All fighters away from the flagship. What? The floor! If they attack Saki from the air, then we'll need this. <laughs> what? What? This is like if you. If someone was like. On insane hallucinogens and tried to explain the plot of Nier Automata to you. Oh my god, I'm gonna barf. I'm gonna tell my kids this was the Battle of Pearl Harbor. Let's... <laughs> this is the most insane game I've probably ever played. Like, it, it, in some ways, doesn't make any sense, but, like, mechanically, even though it's really deranged, it's, I think the most deranged thing is just, like, oh, yeah, this is on the same console as Superman 64. Try to bomb the Haba. Mr. Osa. 
doesn't really have a small penis. He's just saying that to try to win your favor. Mr. Osa! Oh my. <laughs> also, the helicopters are reminding me of Incredible Crisis. With, with that cheat on your wife minigame. When they showed me the sword in the tutorial, I was like, uh, this game doesn't need a sword. That's stupid. But now, I'm like, I love the sword. The sword is so OP. This is very similar to the first boss. Get bonus. Now, would I say this game is better than Final Fantasy XIV? Uh, no. It looks about as good as World of Warcraft, though. I've heard World of Warcraft has had kind of, I don't know if it ever had like a lot of downtime, but like I've heard it's like having something of a moment again because it's got like a battle royale mode and uh, classic is getting cataclysm in it. Seems crazy to me. They're doing something with Mr. Pandaren or something. All that sounds interesting, and I'm, you know, if people are still getting enjoyed, I remember I made fun of. I'm like, who's still playing that? And someone's like, it's actually very popular still. I was like, oh, jeez. But uh, having played both, uh, I think more of a Final Fantasy guy. Reminds me of that one level in UN Squadron. I honestly think Mixer would like this, just because it's so action-packed. Even though it is deranged. Okay, we don't need to do stuff like that. Oh. What? Damn it. This level is tedious. Please continue. Give me a good checkpoint at least.
Yeah, this, this boss fight just sucks. Like, unless I'm missing something. Shooting a big old yellow ball at you. See, even that description of it makes it feel like it was more fun than it actually was. That just felt like obnoxious. I don't know. Dude, I can't even focus on that shit. Did I not already do this shit? I, I'm confused. <laughs> X-Men first class. Every other level felt like short and sweet and focused. And, like, this level just feels like someone's like, no, we need, like, a big, long scene that takes forever and is, like, a big battle. It's like, eh. Dude, just give me a chance to shoot them, actually. He was so close to being dead. Didn't I already kill this guy by knocking him out a window anyway? The creepy kid standing next to me. What? Who's Brad? They were volunteers? That makes me feel bad. Raises more questions. Did you say abortion? Is that the U.S. Army? 
<laughs> what? Either way, they're dead. <laughs> uh, I, I forgot this is supposed to be like some sort of... <laughs> yeah, they showed Japan earlier, didn't they? Damn Americans. Damn it. Oh, of course. Damn it. When I'm panicking, I, f I forget that the controls are reversed, and I'm like, okay, move cursor up here with the right stick. You know, the thing you use to control the camera or view or reticle. Oddish, are you there? Okay, okay, okay. Are you having any luck with uh, Final Fantasy? That's all I had to fucking do? Maybe if I was actually holding my gun in a stable way and not leaning backward. I just take out these fins? Sure. More of those things, sure. I wish you would say no when I'm hit, so I know I'm hit. I always have to close all my tabs, so I'll just have to do it post-stream. Wait, close all your tabs to do what? No bonus! Oh, to play a game? We'll just watch stream on your phone. Gasp. Wait, Saki? I thought Saki died. I thought that was the whole thing. That's why I'm playing as you now. <laughs> no, dude, I'm helping you.
<laughs> just stand still while that happens. We're still too early. Just exposing a weakness would be bad. Is it safe to approach him? We're just little insects to Saki. He won't bother us. Hurry up and change him back to human form. Saki's just forgetting his human heart. I'll believe it when I see it. To return Saki to human form, it's just all non sequiturs. Saki's body and recover his humanity. I will open Saki's chest. You call to his heart. Tell him everything. Thoughts, memories, hopes, dreams. As long as he wants to be with you, he can accept his humanity. Stop it! How can we do that? <laughs> She's not on board. No, we can do it. <laughs> just fire at Saki's forehead. Liar. False savior. Saki. Shut up. Do you want Saki to stay this way? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Liar. False savior. Train? A subway? Oh, I teleported. Yeah, that this explains it. Work. But why? Hey, you. Do you know where we are? We're on Long Island, aren't we? <laughs> Long Island? <laughs> New York? <laughs> I mean, it looks why like Long Island to me, baby. Oh no, Long Island's famous robot dogs! My, my question has gone from, why didn't they release this in America, to why did they release this anywhere? Mole seamer? Not even close. You've never heard of ruffians invading America. You never heard of uh I can't think of something. Could you not call me mommy? <laughs> Is this train out of control? <laughs> Could you not call me mommy? has become Final Fantasy. Is that a dragonfly? Oh good, Mole Seamer's back. The entire parry system is just instead of holding the button down, you just tap a tap a tap a the button. Oh no. It's Jellyfish Seamer. Georgia O'Keeffe painting Seamer. What? Wait, I was right. It is Jelly Seamer. And turn and flex and jump and thrust and turn and flex. These things just track. It's annoying. I'm not listening to you, kid. No. 
and thrust and parry and turn and thrust. Eh? Crab mole seamers? Take that cloth. Oh good, I was worried it was boring the first time this happened, but... Oh shit! in the wild mask I think I have heard of before so I didn't look that up because I'd already I already knew what it was generally speaking how's he's like a rabbit he collects masks right something like that and the other one I did add to my wish list I'll probably wait to see if they're on sale. 2017? Ten years in the future? Mm hmm. Oh, that explains it. It's 2017. <gasps> Saki! <laughs> Special appearance by. I get it. So you're a normal American kid. We don't belong in this future, Isa. Let's go. Um, you just found this kid here. How do you know this isn't the future he belongs to? Also, why did I go the fucking future? I thought I was supposed to be going inside what's his face's head. Honestly, I give these voice actors a lot more credit because none of this makes a lick of sense. Like, the people in, in Resident Evil had no excuse. <laughs> Dude, you chose to run forward. You're not on the conveyor belt. You, you literally chose to run through those chairs. about to fight a mech and then ended up... No, we weren't gonna fight him. He's our friend. Popcorn? It's called Birth Model. Oh, I get it. I'm a New Yorker, so I have to abort these things. This game has a real conservative worldview. <laughs> Is this the game about the future that liberals want? To release the pilot? But I think he... I don't think that he's piloting it. I think he literally became it. Is it gaining health? Yes, I can parry the yellow orbs.
Yes, this will make a fine substitute. So you can only parry physical things like yellow orbs of light. It tracks. You can't parry bullets though, because those aren't energy. I mean, metal or something. Okay, we'll get it next time. We'll get it next time. Did she, did she say, did that kid Issei say, Mommy, when I died? I bet there's going to be some twitch twist like that kid really is my kid in the future or something. There should have been a spin-off to this game, like Mario Tennis, Sin and Punishment Tennis. That would have been great. I haven't played tennis like this since Bram Stoker's house. Like a glove. Saki? <laughs> That's right. I've taken this form for you. <laughs> We're in Achi's vision. Have you chosen your future? Is that a parrot? I knew it. So this is the future and they're married now. Child. This is no future for children. You're wrong. Isa will live in a different future. Somewhere there's a future where I am your wife, Isa is your son, and you are human. Are you and Papa fighting? Oh, I'm sorry. What do you think? Suck it. Mommy? Mommy's scary, but mommy's nice. Isa loves you, mommy. And I love you, Isa. What? That's why I know we'll see each other again. Well, she had a real 180 on being on motherhood. You just used the child. I thought I should show you at least once. What? This is like the opposite storytelling of Final Fantasy XIV where they belabor every point with like four cutscenes explaining lore. In this, it's just like, they'll figure it out. <laughs> Wait, he is inside the mech, I guess. <laughs> His voice lines cut over each other. You ruined Tokyo. We destroy the world. <laughs> you ruined Tokyo. Now I need a reason for an even bigger war. Are you we good guys or not? What? 
They were trying to make him sound scarier by deepening his voice, but it just made him sound like an adult woman, because he's a child. Two people piloting a Jaeger at once? Open up your hearts and you'll see. They teleported? Do they think they can escape me? Time to go to the Old West. Ah, finally, Kingdom Hearts. Okay. Kingdom Hearts is the only game that makes more sense than this. Sora, wake up. We have to share the Papu fruit with Kairi. I mean, Saki. Ruffians. I, I've got to fight them. Uh, uh, I think ruffians are the worst name for an, a horde of enemies. Wow, his physique be slamming. Good morning, Iron. Look out. Get back. Am I supposed to be happy Saki's back? I I don't know. <laughs> it's not like they have different powers. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Ito. Ooh, I got crab launched or something. These fucking angles. Saki, there's a building here. What is my body doing? I just 360 on my torso like a rubber band action figure. What's I think really sad is that it still feels, even with all of these shortcomings, it still feels like a little bit more fluid to control than uh, Jet Force Gemini. Yeah, ragamuffins. That's scary. You're right. It should have been ragamuffins. Spider Seamer. Tick Seamer. When this game keeps it simple and focused, it's actually pretty good. Um, but that does not seem to be the game's interest. This is the best bug game since Bug 2. I know! That's what I'm saying, like... <laughs> There's nothing in Mischief Makers that makes this game seem like a logical step, right? <laughs> like, Mischief Makers is good. This is just nuts. Like, I remember Mischief Makers having some weird parts, too, in, like, the translation and stuff. Like, it's just, just like, what? Just weird cultural things, but, like... Hey B, how you doing? Welcome in. Uh Oddish, if you're there, can you give me a shout out for B Luxy? 
Doing all right. Good to hear. Uh, it's good. How's uh, how's uh, Dusty and the cats doing? Thank you for that shout out. Please give Biloxi a follow if you like Pokemon. Hey. We're okay. Okay, good to hear. Oh, jeez. What was that? Core of the spider seamer? I knew you were in there. How did the rest of your stream go tonight? I was watching it as I was setting up. By the way, you got a shiny alpha? Oh, nice. Unknown? Oh, interesting. Damn. Please don't make me go to the back to the beginning of the spider seamer. Is Scone still doing his stream? Oh, nice. Thank you, good checkpoint. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, I wasn't asking you, B, don't worry. I was just asking, uh... chat in general. Oh wait, that's way easier when you just reflect everything. But scone bone video. Yeah, all of a sudden things were all messed up. What are we going to do? This is Kaido, Ruffian Central. Kaido. At least we won't go hungry. First let's find a safer spot. Right. The sun's about to set, so we'll keep watch here tonight. What? I wonder if Achi will follow us. Your instinct brought you here. I think she knows that. Yeah, there's a lot I want to ask Achi about this transformation. But Achi... Oh, Scone's wrapping up, it looks like. Let's go to America, Saki. Have a doctor take care of it. If a doctor can take care of it. They look scary. I know, right? Everyone in this game looks friggin' scary. They must be on that road. I'll check it out. Wait here. You're tough, Saki. They all look like deranged meat puppets. This whole game is bizarre as hell. Iron? Iron? Wait, now it's 2D? Okay. That's just a cuphead run and gun level. This is so weird. To 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 to. So, what is that? I'm gonna slice you up good. Stop it! Stop avenging your comrades. Oh shit! This is Metal Gear Ray? Atta! Atta! Ho! 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 Okay, I guess he's just invulnerable or something. Run, run, run. Should I be scared of this guy? He kind of looks like Pumpkinhead. I like that. That's one of my favorites. Oh, 
ね Am I still in lock on that? I am. Maybe lock on mode would be better than this. I don't know. The controls in this game are backwards. <laughs> if I haven't said that enough. Yeah, I gotta watch time. Oh, I'm getting some slowdown. I'm not even doing damage to it. I need to get out of here. There's some time, some sweet, sweet time. That's why it's being weird. Oh my god! Yes, life. Or something like it. Eh. Eh. Which crazy thing should I be scared of? Stupid game! Wait. Please. Please. <sighs> Inches from health. They take me out. Please continue. Okay. It's really weird that they are, like, so stingy with time. It's weird that the game has time limits anyway, but they're so stingy with time, and then they'll just give you a checkpoint and full time. It's like, well, maybe you should tell me where the checkpoints are and give me full time then. Did I did not like that 2D section. One bit. These mechanics are not built for that. Wow, these guys are really wrecking me. I feel like they did significantly more damage than uh, any other guys in the game. What? Ta-ta! 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 Those centaurs? So I can reflect the centaurs shack rams? Because they're from Xena the War. Is this modded Star Fox? <laughs> right? That was my first thought. I was like, okay, so it's like on. It's like Star Fox, but you're on the ground. There's Centaur Seamers. Right? Oh, Man Seamers, finally! What's up, Hector? Welcome in. Ugh! Stop doing like 50 damage! This is Sin and Punishment. An unreleased N64 game. Or I guess it was released, but not in America. Wow, they just skipped me. That checkpoint... It was like a death checkpoint, where it's like you get it, but you didn't really earn it. Or I did earn it, but I just got it at the end of that. This is just, like... 
All the good games skip American release. Mm. I don't know. This game... Oh, it's our friend who's really the villain, who's really our friend. So, you finally come. What have you done to Iron? Look at these beautiful character Iron models. Why are you doing this? I was testing your feelings. Look at yourself. Half of you is refusing Iron. That's why you look that way. I can't tell because they look shitty that. already. Obviously our hearts are going closer. But in our hearts, there is still fear. There are still doubts. There are still places and feelings that can't be opened yet. <laughs> there was a total Kingdom Hearts shot, like, not long ago. With the one of the main characters floating upside down in a jet black environment. I'm like... But you're using us as weapons with a different goal in mind. Uh-huh. You're still in training. You'll always be on the front line. That's useless. Ow. That's better. Is this what works on you? <laughs> what? Oh yeah, the Kingdom Hearts. Then you'll love Final Fantasy XIV. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. <laughs> Hell yeah. Get it on. Zoroark! Oh, no, it's not. It's a Megazord. This game makes as much sense as Kingdom Hearts. It actually, as convoluted as Kingdom Hearts is, I vaguely understand how things work. I've forgotten. Kratos! That's you, Saki. What? You must have been powerful for me. Powerful enough to rule a planet. She's just replacing the Earth? She? Will she lead all humanity away? What's best for me is all that matters. <laughs> Saki. <laughs> what am I looking at? I understand. I am of this planet. <laughs> uh... Am I shooting the earth? Oh wait, I have to protect the earth from the earth mimicry. Oh. No, earth mimicry. Uh, not necessarily, but it would certainly make it a lot easier on me. If, it, if it's an expensive game, it's just like, I would prefer it to be a game that I either own or that I can easily get. Because, like, I have so many games. Like, surely there's one in the catalog that will say here vile fantasies. Ultra kill? No, I'm not familiar with that. Was I supposed to put those things back at the earth? Or? could really use an earth healing kit right now. There's too many of these fuckers. Saki. What's ultra kill? Hey, 
Scone. Uh, Oddish, can we get a shout out for Scone Bone, please? Hey, everybody, welcome in. Thunderfoot Bros, that is in. Welcome in, welcome in. Uh, welcome in, Motu. Welcome in, Pepperoni Pizza Man. Raid, raid. How did the rest of the stream go? Sorry I couldn't stick around to see your big... Hey, Rudy, thank you for the follow. I uh, couldn't see the end of your big scone anniversary, but congratulations once again. Coach Craig, welcome in. Ray Laser, welcome in. Uh, yeah, it was a really fun one. Hopefully you'll be able to get some good sleepies uh, sometime soon. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, you seemed a little bit... Um, not like exhausted but just a little like i could close my eyes for a little bit a little bit like the sleepy time bear on the box of tea but this is fun for me this is like the first time i get a raid from you because normally our hours are reversed right so we don't really but that's fun so i really appreciate that wasted you looked like shit. you looked like hey you look like how i feel man no, Scone is a very handsome, very handsome, profound gentleman, and we all love him very much. I'm very proud to be a part of that community and that channel. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think I understand this part now. So we're playing a game right now. Hey, Ruthie, welcome in. It's been forever since you've been in here. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome in. This is when you normally start. Yes. This is when I, norm well, I normally start... No, wait, you're right. This is when Scone normally starts. And I normally end at around midnight, so I normally uh, am done. Uh, way too early for him to rank. Because he's on Pacific Standard Time. He's on the West Coast. And I'm over here in Ohio, so I'm on Eastern. Ugh, this is so annoying. So we're playing a game called Sin and Punishment. It was a, I think, a Japan-only release. Did I get it? Oh, nice. That's why I normally miss you. Hey, Rudy, thank you for the sub. That's so nice. This game looks sick. Yeah, so this is like an N64 game. Our good friend Moon Pie uh, recommended it to us. Uh... Yeah, I missed you too, Ruthie. How's all? Did you all your work stuff uh, wind up okay? Wait, let's all watch these these cutscenes that make no sense. I'm only not on until 12 a.m. EST. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I try to pop in when I'm up late and watch you guys when you're on, but I'm all usually so tired. I'm not super talkative then. I mean, this game is fun. The controls are all backwards, so I guess if Sane was playing it, it would make perfect sense might actually be the perfect sane game but the the cutscenes make no sense you move with the right stick or the c pad and you aim with the left joystick what are we gonna do now <laughs> when i was little i always wanted to be a cop oh okay i think they'd hire me now the fuck are you talking about whoa <laughs> What was that? <laughs> Not by myself, I couldn't. I'd need you to protect me. Aw, oh, they love each other for some reason. Hit the nab. Together? Let's do it. I guess. She was like throwing herself at him like she was doing like stage flight where you like you're on wires. Okay, now it's getting really Kingdom Heartsy. Brad and Saki are lost. Is the girl's name Brad? <laughs> Motu, it's good to see you in here. <sighs> what is happening? Why do the character models look like someone... They look like Toy Story figurines. Like Sid from Toy Story melted them in a microwave. I mean, it's a fun game. It is a fun game, but it makes no sense. And it's kind of like everything about it is breaking my brain from the fact that the the sticks are reversed to the fact that the story is just like mind boggling. Like, I don't know what's going on at any point. But yeah, welcome in Scones community. 
The original title, Class Soldier? What? Is that the end? That was the end of the game? It's not meant to be taken seriously? Then why is itself taken so seriously? What the fuck just happened? <laughs> that took... That took like two... Uh, what? What the fuck was that? Now what are we gonna play? Someone shout out a retro game. We'll play... I vote, no, we've got the retro people in here. I mean, I do love Dredge. I do love Dredge. Let's play some retro game. What's on our retro games list that we haven't played recently? I'm so angry. Zombies ain't my neighbors. <laughs> Not Temple of Doom. Not Temple of Doom. Not Temple of Doom. Infinite Crisis. You mean Incredible Crisis. That's sort of, I mean, Zombies ain't my neighbors we could do. I don't know that game super well. I rented it a lot as a kid. We could do that. Not Temple of Doom, though. That game upsets me. <laughs> no! No more bug. No more bug. I mean, I guess I could play bug. Back to the Future NES. You guys hate me. We're, 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 we're both mods in Scone's channel. We should respect each other, man. This is... That is... A dream is just a dream. Perhaps it was just a part of Achi's training. At no point did I have even like remotely a grasp on what this fucking story with Fester's quest i played that a lot as a kid too but yeah we could play we could play pugsley's scavenger hunt although i think i have to play that later as part of some thing i mean we could start we could start the girl game challenge already right we've got the girl game gauntlet i was gonna start suit we could play superman 64 <laughs> be like pookums <laughs> you can play Battletoads in honor of Scone. Oh my god. I don't understand. So yeah, Moon Pie, <laughs> Moon Pie brought us into this. Deadly Towers. I mean, I was playing Deadly Towers before. I For April Fools, I, I pulled out Deadly Towers and I started playing it. I created a map uh, in an Excel spreadsheet that is just like... Yeah, I know how I know exactly how good it is. I don't I have no idea like uh if I was making progress in the right way cuz the dungeons in that one it's like a, a rip off Zelda like where the dungeons are I can't believe how short that game is. I guess Treasure doesn't make long games, but still. I mean, we were playing it on easy, but I mean it has limited continues. Every room looks identical. No, some have worms that go vertical and then some have four bats that go across. It's very, it's very different. I mean, I don't know. I thought this would take the whole time. I don't know what to do. Um, I guess let's just normal would be the challenge <laughs> next. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine, we'll play it again. We'll play it again. <laughs> Technically, Moonpie Moon gets... <laughs> Technically, Moonpie gets uh, three hours of the game he requests. That's how it works on the channel. So we'll, <laughs> we'll just start it over again. Loop two. Loop two. This time, everyone pay a lot of attention. So we can really make sure we understand the story. Badget on RA. What does that mean? Is that like skater moves? Kick flip the something or other? Loop to electric boogla. So Ruthie, how so all, all work is done, right? Achievements? Achievements unlocked. Oh yeah, I don't know why we're not getting any there probably aren't any for this. <laughs> no, there've gotta be. This game's a sequel? No way. Get bonus. Yeah, I don't know why my retro achievements aren't working. Maybe I have to re-log in or something. Normally they do. But yeah, now we know what all the boss battles are like. Maybe we can beat it on normal too. B Seamer. All of the bad guys in this game are seamers. Oh my 
god. Isn't there a sequel to this one as well? So just, just as a reminder, if you weren't here earlier, and many of you were not, there's a Wii game, a Wii sequel, right, right, right. Many of you guys were not here earlier. The game controls... So if you imagine the N64 controller, I'm currently playing this on an Xbox controller, but no chiefs for this on... Oh, really? Okay, so I am logged in. It's just not working. You know what? Let's make them. This game could have been at least twice as long. Like, they're obviously not wasting money on the... This has achievements. Can I post a link? I think... I don't know. I think links are turned off, if I understand correctly. Maybe DM Oddish with it. Like, you're allowed, but, like, I don't... I think Automod's gonna catch it. Maybe send it to a little Oddish or one of the mods pop in here and just say send it to me and check out the link you can whisper him it's game 10119 you know I'm, I'm fine playing this game again the levels do get shittier as the game goes on I do kind of like this weird aesthetic. So I'm Saki right now, and then Saki becomes a a giant mech in like at the end of the level or whatever. Oops. Saki doesn't know not to walk straight into walls. Oh yeah, we love Scone Bone here. Oh shoot. Scone is like my constant raid. So I don't know who all raids you tonight. So I must be going. It's been real fun. Good good speed, short sure. Hey Dedison, thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Have a good rest of your evening. Yeah, be safe, take care. Appreciate it. Hydrate, will do. Maybe I'm just playing a weird version of the, uh, of the rum, because I did have some trouble finding an English translation of this game. And the version I set, I got said I had to patch it, but then when I opened it, it was automatically patched. Sumitsubatsa Hochi no Kesho. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, whatever. I'm not a big Chivo hunter. I like getting achievements, but I don't really care that much. Besides, I have a feeling now that I've played this, I'll be playing it every day. Bonus. So yeah, you got a sword in this. The sword only comes out if an enemy is close to you. You have to stop shooting and then tap the button to use the sword. Yeah, exactly. The problem is that I have so many games in my backlog that, like, I feel like the only games I would really want to achievement hunt on are ones that I, uh, love very much. But I appreciate you guys doing the research on that.
I'm almost positive it has something to do with like whatever version of the game I'm running. Skip. Come on, quick, into Shinjuku Station. The hash has to match exactly. That's probably why it doesn't. Okay, time for Lizard Seamer. Ta 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 ta. Ta ta. You know what we never finished, but we started the other day. It was Metroid One. Another game I really want to do because. Mixer is always talking about it. Is uh, Zelda 2. I've never gotten like farther than like the first dungeon or big area of Zelda 2. Zelda 2 always frustrates me because like when I go into town, I'm expecting like information from people, and they're just like, "I am error." I'm like, "I don't." We started any. I played Zero Mission before, but I had never beaten NES Metroid. I think that's the only Metroid I haven't beaten. Well, Federation Force. I don't know if I beat that one on. Uh... <laughs> what was that one? <laughs> uh, I didn't beat Pinball. Oh, lock onto him. Okay. I don't think I'm going to survive this. It's possible, but it's not likely. Oh, I got it! Oh, that was really lucky. When time runs out, uh, you just start, it starts draining your health slowly. I right, need to hurry up and get, get your... Oh, Prime. I love those Prime games. Watching Scone play uh, Resident Evil 1, I realize I've only done the remakes of those Resident Evil games. I'd like to play the original versions of them all, because I really like uh, Resident Evil 2, especially. The remake. That's one of my favorites. You need a Jill sandwich. We got a Jill emote here. We got Jill on screen, right? I won't let you kill Radon. I'm a member of Stars. Thank you, Oddish, for becoming a member of Stars. I don't understand how to. That big rig pinky, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that, buddy. Welcome to the party, pal. That got him? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I kind of like the way the jumping works. I don't like the way strafing works. So you're the leader of these killers. Yeah, yeah. At least this fight's pretty easy. I have no idea what's going on, but... Everybody looks like melted toy soldiers. Is this Fruit Ninja? Yeah, kind of. World's easiest Fruit Ninja. Because he just automatically blades anything in front of him. If you close your eyes. <laughs> okay. All you have to do there is slash her when she gets close to you. Okay, now he becomes this big rig. I just said big rig because I read big rig. <laughs> From big rig pinky. Ah, oh, fuck. 
I'm gonna fuck this up. Yeah, I, I'm in a mech, and I'm also, I am become mech, destroyer of worlds. This is like the punch out sequence. Oh fuck, I dodged the wrong way. You gotta. It's like the new Final Fantasy Rebirth minigame, too. You gotta just watch where the punches come from. And then dodge. Oh fuck. I keep forgetting how to do the dodge mechanic here. There we go. Ah, that was my own fault. Hell yeah, we are neon genesising all over this Evangelion. That's correct. That is very correct. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. It does look like Evangelion. Continue. That's another one I've never watched. Hey, you guys will be pleased. I have been doing my homework and watching more Avatar The Last Airbender lately. So you guys will be pleased with that. Don't look like grab some food. Oh, yeah, you've been up for 34 hours, dude. I'm so... You're a champ. You've watched, you watched all of Scone's frigging 24-hour stream. That's crazy. Thank you for being here. Thank you for doing that. What a great mod. That's crazy. Yeah, lurk it up. Lurk it up, Scone and Motu. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Lurk it up. Lucid Cosmos, thank you for the follow. Okay, this part, he's just shooting a bunch of shit at you, right? But all you have to do is aim at this little thing. No problem. Welcome in, Lucid Cosmos. I think the Avatar I saw was still not as good as James Cameron's, but it's getting there. Yeah, if it had the mighty Akron, it would be way better. No, I, what I've seen of the newer episodes is that it's it's good. It's like, I've liked it. It does keep getting better, so I, I see the point you guys are making. Um, fuck. It was so close. I almost don't want to get into it because, you know, I'm just going to make fun of you guys. Uh, let's see, which ones did I watch? Eh. This whole fight is about, like, managing, like, a lot of boss sequences. This is just managing your health towards the end. I'm trying to think of, like, which ones I saw. I Oh, I saw a really epic one. Um, where it was like all the characters had been separated for a while and then like reunited in a big battle with like um, Prince What's-His-Face's sister and those two sidekick girls. Azula, right. Azula and... Yeah, the, the backstory one with, like, damn it. Hit me off. It's funny because there's so many things in Wrath of the God that remind me of uh, Avatar The Last Air, and I forgot you haven't finished the freaking show yet. Yeah, it's just because what I do, Ruthie, in our D&D &D campaign on Thursdays at 8 p.m., by the way, uh, is that uh, it happened with Bebop. But what happened with Bebop? And what happened with Rocksteady? Uh, his morale will improve, so the whipping stop, Azula. The one where Zuko leaves and Toph leaves and meets Toph meets Iro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Toph and Iro. What a, uh, what a combo. Basically, anytime, uh, Uncle Iro is on screen, I'm like, okay, the show's good now. That's not true. I, I, I found the. The episodes of Bebop I don't like are your favorite episodes of Bebop. I like the episodic ones that are more comedic. And... Which is funny, because, like... Uh, those are the... Those are... 
the ones that I don't like of Avatar The Last Airbender. Anytime when it sounds like Nickelodeon dialogue, it raises up my hackles. Because at some point, Nickelodeon went from like, oh, we don't care, just put a show on the air, to like, sounding like, Tof, don't you realize you're a member of the team and you have to help out too? Like, like this isn't fucking Muppet Babies. Like, come on. There's there's a way of like writing this that doesn't seem so on the nose. Cause like half the time when the show is like just doing its own thing, it's not that corny. Like I don't understand why like a fraction of the dialogue has to be like that, but you know, whatever. I'm just used to like Rugrats and Rocco and Batman the animated series and shows that like we're for both adults and, and even Bluey. Even Bluey isn't like that, really. Um, my favorite episode of Bebop is the one where they... Uh, damn it. Uh, the one where he fights that clown guy. Because <laughs> it's like it's got one of my favorite things, which is an amusement park in it. It's just a, a, like a cool-ass episode. I also love the one with the alien in the fridge. Um... I like that one in the deserts with uh, the kid and the dog. There's a lot of good episodes. The ones I don't care about are the Julia episodes. I find those really boring. Anytime Spike is like John Wick, I find the show boring. But when Spike is like... Uh, Matthew Perry. That's when I like the show. Cowboy Andy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the one. Just let me kill you. But yeah, those ones were good. Oh shit, I hate this level. No, wait, no, this level's okay. This level's okay. This is where you start playing as not Jill Valentine. Yeah, right, and you have to fight that cat. Yeah, I mean, we played it... <laughs> we played it earlier on stream. And then we, we beat it, apparently, and then... <laughs> now, we're, now we're playing it on a harder difficulty. <laughs> We've gotta play it again. Ouch. How is this not hitting it? There we go. Give me that. Okay, cat mini boss. Sometimes, like when playing Day Katana, my brain. That's what we should have switched to, is Day Katana. When am I ever going to play that again? Otherwise. Okay, now it's doing this phase. You just have to wait for it to pass, and then jump up, and then smack it. Smack. So many characters in this game are, like, voiced by, like, the five-year-old little cousins of the game devs. It's so frustrating. It's a shame this game is so short, because it's got a fun gameplay loop. Oh, 
Oh, they added those, I think. I don't remember that. Oh, I think they added that, too. Stop it. Okay, there we go. Oh. How short is the game? I mean, we beat it on easy in, like, under two hours. It's pretty short. Stop it. <laughs> jumping into the jumping into the laser is not a good idea. Remember that for your personal playthroughs of this. Please continue. Uh but yeah, for anybody who doesn't know me, I should have done that at the beginning during the raid, but I figure most people do know me from just as a mod in Scone's channel. For anyone who doesn't, I am a former actor and part-time writer turned streamer. I love retro games, all the games I grew up with playing. Hey, you can join the Discord there. I'm sure I already have a million servers, so no pressure there. Um, if you do like tabletop games, we do play a lot of good tabletop games in our community. Uh, on Thursday nights are our D&D &D nights. I run a game called Wrath of the Godkin. Oddish and Ruthie, aka Beep Boop, are two of the players in that. We'll be doing... Uh, our characters are... Or their characters are infiltrating a bachelor party of full of pirates on Thursday, so that's going to be a good one. Thursday at 8pm. You can watch the old episodes of that on WOTG right there. Thank you guys for being so on top of it with the links. Um, let's see. Uh, a little about me. I was on uh, the Nickelodeon show Sam and Cat, and I was shirtless. Uh, and I met Ariana Grande while I was shirtless, which is not how the fantasy is supposed to go down. And I have been in the same room as Dan Schneider, the guy who all that shit just came out. Well, it's been out. But all that shit was just reiterated about. Uh, which is creepy to think about. I was getting my hair cut, and my barber was like, so what's your take on all that? I was like, it's fucking fucked up. Yeah, if you like to go ham and play recklessly, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, Oddish is in the process of running a, a Trail of Cthulhu game. We played the first half of that last Thursday. That's really good. Oh, right, Hector, sorry. I gotta put that VOD up. I forgot to do that. Um, remind me after the stream if I don't do it. Well, the it is on Twitch. It is on Twitch already, but uh, so you can watch the VOD there, but it's not on, up on YouTube yet. Let's see. What else? I was the Investigate 311 guy on the Eric Andre show. For a certain very stoned part of the population, that is my claim to fame. Oh yeah, I think that... I think the bot that had that command is down. You can see those links on the socials. Give me that time. This is the famous anemone seamer. For a while, I did comedy writing for Hard Drive, the video game comedy website. Ruffians? The bad guys in this game are called Ruffians. Yeah, there's Made Up Movies, the podcast. We did that. Bunker Brothers, another podcast. Oh! I also did. 
That one's pretty cool. We got some good guests on that one. Some of the Simpsons writers. Video game voice actress from Apex Legends and Dragon Age and Persona 3. <laughs> Just let me get the help! Cleveland Steamer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I predicted Joker too. Although I think at the time of our recording of that, uh, we already knew Gaga was going to be in it, so it just made sense that it was going to be a musical. I can't believe I got that. This is the second time in a row that I've gotten that boss at like a time when. You just teleported free. Idiots, don't you realize how dangerous teleporting is? This is the kind of story we're dealing with. Multiple jokers, but that was also in the air too. Look at the way she's posed. It's so funny. This game has two aim modes. Like, when you're using the red reticle, it is... Uh... Free aim. Oh! I didn't realize I was so low. Oh yeah, that makes sense, because I am still... Coming in from the last boss. Okay, uh... Checkpoints in this game are pretty generous. Yeah, yeah, it is lower damage, Ash. That is correct. Good, good thinking, too. Because that is the case. And also, the lock-on aim is... It does not feel good. Like, this guy in particular can still avoid the lock-on system. This game actually would probably be very fun on Wii. Gotta kill Lita here. But yeah, I've done some podcasts, done some... met some celebs, like Sconebone. Okay, there we go. Okay, here we go. What? Oh my god. They made that part harder now? Please continue. This might get us. Because before, you just sort of spammed. Yeah, I've been on reshoot a few times. Do a fun tabletop game. Hosted by Ruthie. Uh, called Old Gods of Appalachia. It's not on stream, but it's still fun. I've been thinking about it. I'd really like to do more voice acting. I might try to put together a reel for that. They should be, yeah. I don't take anything down. Unless YouTube demands that I do. <laughs> okay, there we go. He flies out the window. I feel like I had to spam that button more this time. He also had strange powers. How do you get into voice acting? I want to take a crack at it. No, you gotta be strange like talented. Uh <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I just know it's a hard thing to get into because there's like, you know, like Phil Lamar does all the voices. Speaking of voice acting, how was mine on Thursday? It was good. Oddish has a really sexy voice. I thought it was funny when you were like, you did like, you're like, forgive the accent. And then you did like a half-assed accent. And I'm like, that just sounds like your voice. And then you're like, damn it. And you did like a more pronounced version of the accent. And it was really good. I was like, okay, I'm just going to bully you into acting more often. I feel like you did that in a previous game too. You're like, oh, I'm going to try to do my 
I'm gonna try to do a more traditional Indian accent. I'm like, okay, and it just sounded like you again. I'm like, I think you're underplaying it. You might be, you might be underplaying it. But yeah, yeah, your acting was good. Your acting was good. I mean, like, I don't want to. Uh, Oddish, Oddish does a great job running his games. He's like, he's run two games so far. But yeah, if you guys like tabletop stuff, feel free to join the Discord in the community. We're, I'd like us to be doing more of that stuff, like more one-offs and stuff like that, just as a community. But, um, bullying, it works! Uh, that's, that's something that Oddish and I have been saying more often, because when we play Rocket League, we played Rocket League together for the first time in like a year and a half, and I kept encouraging Oddish to bully the other players. When I was on defense, I would be like, all right, go in there and keep bullying. He's like, I should back off. I'm like, nah, bully him a little bit more. And it almost always paid off. Not really. Please do that. Ah, eh, whatever. We're not role models here. <laughs> We're anti-heroes like Venom. You bully me, show I do not. We give, we both give each other shit. Just playfully, though. Plus, we've gotten into a good thing. I was like thinking about it, like between, um, like now that I've been able to play with you more in Old Gods, and then we got to play together again in Oddish's game. I was like, oh shit, I got a better sense of how Hector likes to play now. So it's like. I, like, I felt really good about that move where we're, like, trying to get that information out of that guy, right? And, like, I'm like, yeah, I think I think this guy might need, you know, a little bit of motivation. And you just pull him aside and, like, give him a talking to. I was like, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. This is, like, I love doing, like, the alley oops. I like, that's always been my moves. Like, even in Rocket League, I like doing the assists. I like doing the good layups and improv and shit like that. I mean, everyone loves being the funny one or the guy in focus, but I really like being able to be like, oh, we know each other so well, we can do this thing. I think that's part of the reason I really have been, one of the reasons I really like the really difficult dungeons in, uh, oh, wait, no, this is, this is the okay boss. Oh, guys, epilepsy warning, what the fuck is happening? Good cop, hot cop. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. That's something from our D&D games. Well, don't think we're gonna make it through. I mean, it's a short game, but... They're a little stingy on continues. Please continue. <laughs> I just like, uh... Allowing my friends to do well in a way that, like also helps me succeed, you know what I mean? Like... Like, if we're on the same team, I like teamwork. Plain and simple. For as much time in my life as I posited myself as... Man, that makes this fight way easier. It's taken forever, but whatever. So it is... Okay, there we go. It is, it is like other games where it's like... It's not just the same game with, uh, what do you call it, with, damn, that part's hard. Wombo combos are the best, yeah, exactly, exactly. Please continue. <laughs> Wait, didn't you do that in, uh, in my, in my, uh, my d, &D one shot. Uh, Falouche, where you were playing like the little old lady 
and you had someone throw. <laughs> yeah, you had someone fastball special you as an old lady. That was really funny. Nona. Yeah, 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 yeah. This kind of reminds me of, like, the bird bosses in Metal Gear. Yeah, the icy breath. It honestly, I don't know why, but it feels like... No shield or mage armor? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, instead you guys cooked uh, the big bird at the end of that game. Dude, time is so hard to come by. Ah! He said, immediately receiving time. said receiving it instantly again I guess if I just play the game better yeah, that's one way hey ho -ho. See, I'm just using the lock-on now because it's just that much easier to manage when I have to jump around constantly. This boss sucks. Like, it legit sucks. Even on easy, it's just really annoying. Please continue. Please continue. Oh wait, I gotta switch. Yeah. There's, it's, it's not. It's not the difficulty, it's just the... It's just tedious, and you're, like, fighting the, the clock more so than... Jeez. Oh, okay. That sucks! I think what I have to do there- Oh, I only have one credit left anyway, so then we're free from this hell. Okay. So yeah, it's, it seems like it's a fun game to play through overall on, uh, on easy mode. Pretty easy to get through. Oh my 
god. Just do the knife, dude. On Thursday evening, we were talking about the Irish dude. I saw faces in the water on the boat. I went back to my notes and realized I forgot that he had something else he needed to tell you. Oh, really? Is he going to suddenly appear next time and tell us that? Game over. Game over. Even that voice acting is weird. Okay. All right, whatever. Let's take that screen off. Let's play something else. <laughs> Here, let's play this. I've always wanted to play this. Titanfall 2, that's not retro. Let's see if anyone can recognize this based on the music. If so, you're a true retro stan. Contra? No, way off. I've, there's never been a worse guess than Contra. Now see if you can guess it. Rugrats the game, that's correct. Yeah, that's Tommy Pickles. Who else could it be? <laughs> I think it's Honk's Bizarre Adventure. All right. Never played this game before. Saw Mixer play it once. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what are Turbo Graphics controls? <laughs> Up, down, left, right. One, two, three, four. Mode switch? Oh boy. Okay, it seems like... Most games are just one and two. Okay, thank you. Oh yeah. I hate little bald boys. Oh hell yeah! Okay, this is my kind of game. Oh! This is like good Adventure Island. Normal playthrough ended at the annoying boss during that airship level. Or not airship, but like the 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 sea battle on the Oh, that guy went cr That's cheating. You can't do that. Oh, yeah. I like that you can bounce them. Oh, something's happening. Yeah, before the subway level, like, right... The one that you were like, he's throwing yellow balls at you, or whatever. Meat eater. What power does this give me? Hell yeah. Bonk! 
I think it's because he's eating more meat and getting angrier, and he's, like, steamed. I don't know. <laughs> I love the way he hangs onto ledges with his teeth. He's a genius. He reminds me of me. How do I get up? <laughs> Stop talking about your skin. It's making everyone uncomfortable. <laughs> it gets lighter in the winter. What are you, all? Uh, snowshoe hair? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Is it a matter of, like, doing the... No, because I can't get momentum that way. I know, if I switch it to six-button controls... Has anyone, has anyone who's played this game? Oh! Oh, you're so right. Thank you, Revolution. Thank you. I'm so happy to have Scone's community of actual retro gamers here. Oh my god, thank you so much. I wonder how long, I bet I wouldn't have been able to figure that out. Oh, I ate the thing. Oh, this is like a star. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you, you didn't even finish Donkey Kong Country. I like how his head erupts, even though he's bald. <laughs> Don't say that. I'm withering before your eyes. Okay, I like that mechanic. Yeah, but he wouldn't- but Oddish can't even beat Donkey Kong Country because he's too scared. Dude, this- this level's cool as hell. I like those Joe and Mac games, too, when I was a kid. Except the second one has those dinosaurs that give me, like... <laughs> I've never felt like I was gonna get a seizure except while playing that game. I'm like, but the game's really good. But you can keep twisting, can't you? I only have two lives, guys. Those look friendly. Oh, I'm frothing at the mouth. I forgot about that. Oh. I wonder if this game has unlimited continues. You know what I bought a long time ago that we haven't gotten even barely into is... Oh, is a di- is a been a Stegosaurus the whole time! Thank you, sir. Really? Three and four have... Wait, PC and... So, whoa, whoa. What are these sky sperms? Oh, I can't touch the uvulas. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I can do it, but I have to turn on six 
Axis mode? <laughs> That's fucking sick! You can, like, Tanuki- oh shit, oh shit. Right, right. It's absolutely intended to? Wait. Wait, what? What does it mean, default turbo button? Oh, okay. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh! Now I am because. Damn it! How am I supposed to get you? Oh, I have to wait for it to. <laughs> this is so cheap. I love it. Look at that shit. <laughs> revolution is really changing this game. It's a veritable revolution. Yeah, how many uvulas does it need? Oh shit, it looks like a virtual boy game now. Wait, are those sperms or just simple tapeworms? Why does he have so many sperms in his throat? No one answer that. <laughs> Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Ooh! Wait, so you're supposed to play with these? It is intended? Because that's awesome. Am I supposed to get past that normally? Pug, welcome in! Oh, shit. What's that dancing bug? You can hit him from underneath? I don't understand this shit. Is this the intended route or am I crazy? Ah! Oh! It's a party roach. Game over? But continue, right? But continue, right? What? Oh my god.
<laughs> it's so good. <laughs> what do you mean you were going over it? What the hell is that thing? What? Oh, you were listening to it. I love this game. You're an artist, you don't have to pay attention. Like, what stuff did you miss? You can do that normally. <laughs> this is my call. I will not listen to Oddish next time. I will wonder. Wait, you're gonna stop listening to Oddish? I mean, it's good advice in general, but I don't know how that's gonna help you. I like this game's color palette a lot. I will not have anarchy. I don't understand how you're supposed to get past those. Like, without... It wasn't usual for PC games to expect you to have turbo on PC. Blazing Lasers requires turbo to access all the options. Oh, interesting. Oh, you rascal. Wake up, Bonk. Wake up. Blazing Lasers, although I'm, I'm sure it's an incredibly different game, reminds me of Blazing Dragons. The, uh... What are these viruses? The... The Saturn and PS1 game. Or maybe it was a Sega CD game? Regardless, I loved it. It had... Oh, here's how you do it. had Eric Idle and Cheech Marin, I think, in it? Yeah. Oh, so you can get them from underneath. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be spicy. I think it's supposed to be, like, in... Or, like, the same kind of thing as, like, in Smash Brothers. 
when you eat the super spicy curry. Oh good, the dinosaur ate me. What a relief. Whoa. <laughs> oh, yeah. Huey Lewis? Gee whiz, thanks. I feel a lot better. I'm your new friend. It's a little presumptuous. Arf, arf, arf. Wait, so can you talk or not? Go for it! I just did. Jeez. Round one cleared. I always wanted this game as a kid. I remember seeing the ads for it and being like, I love this art style. But I could never justify having another console. Especially one with, like, relatively few games. Eventually got the Genesis as well as the Super Nintendo. Are those shades or is he a real dork? What is it, Meowth? Just bypass all this shit with this move. I think Bonk is like a, a kid, right? I always saw him as sort of like a... I don't know, a tween? <laughs> Maybe he's like eight years old, I don't know. Maybe maybe he is like Charlie Brown. He's a caveman. I thought that was, like, all lava or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, shit. So you can... Oh. Sorry. That is funny. It is sort of designed, like, the distances between jumps are designed for you to use the turbo. Wait, it's just this, please. I like how the tree has a sad face on it. Everything has such personality in this game. I love those little eggshell guys, too. Are they, like, failed hatchlings? It's fun that I can, like, stand on the surface tension of the water for a little bit. Whoa! Calm down. Get me out of here. That was close. I need that, though. Oh, crap. Ah, oh, 
frothing. Oh. Oh no, it's Dragon Warrior Sludge. Oh, I can kill those. <laughs> Wait, those have babies in them? I'm losing this game's logic. No. Don't let them eat you. Wasn't there like a Game Boy version of this game too? I'm pretty sure there was. And I wanted that too. But I never got it. That poor tree. That stuff is coated like it's lava or something, but... So one layer of meat is like... Oh, it's sinking sand. Or just mud. Okay, okay. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Imagine how much of a harder time I'd be having without this turbo thing. I'm pretty sure that when Mixer played it, he did not use this. But this is fine by me. I feel like I'm getting a free tur a free preview of the game. Oh, nice. Oh, that is bad stuff. I bet it would really... Oh, crap! Oh, crap! Oh, yeah. I always think... Of... Oh, crap! It's like... Like, you can, you can still do it with the manual pressing, but you, you would have to really bust your thumb. Okay. How far back are they going to send me? Probably the back beginning of two. Oh. That's nice of them. Oh, nice. I killed your kids. Just a wrecking ball through the air. So if I sh if I'm in this mode, whoa! I can turn stuff to stone. Oh, 
I'm just realizing now that the happy faces have two little blood red fangs. Like one pixel blood red fangs. Yoink. What's the rules for getting one-ups in this game? Is it only... Uh, when you find them? Or are there... Point-based one-ups, too? Yoink. Okay. Ah, oh, you son of a... Those frogs can fly? Points at 10, 20,000, every 20,000 after that. Oh. So I should be trying to kill more of these guys. Or just collect more stuff. I love the designs of the dinosaurs and stuff. Everything in this has, like, a really fun design. That's what really attracted to me as a kid. I was like, ooh. I wish that was on SNES. Not that anyone said SNES back in the day. You said Super Nintendo. Oh, Adventure Time role playing game. Adventure Time, come on, grab your friends. From the Bonk's Adventure Manual. Oh, you just you posted this for me. That's crazy. So it was a four button console, but with switches on it. That's what always confused me as a kid. Oh, that's a neat effect. Oh. So the head dive. I wonder if the head dive influenced Yoshi's butt pound. Right, right. I remember Genesis had that as well. For, like, Street Fighter. What were the Turbo Graphics, um... Can I not... Oh, yeah, I can. Fighting games. Were they, like, the Neo Geo ones? King of Fighters and stuff? Oops. One thing I've noticed recently, and I don't know what the significance of it is, 
Is that everyone calls Turbo Graphics PC Engine now? And everyone calls Genesis Master or not Master System? They call it what's the other thing? Yeah. I definitely need to go to the dentist. PC Engine had all the games. TG16 was pretty much a failed console in the West. Oh, interesting. So does PC Engine just refer to games, PC games of the time? Or... Yeah, don't eat. Don't eat that. Oh, oh. Just barely made it. Oh, they thought Americans wanted a bigger console. I always lump together Turbo Graphics and um, 3DO and Jaguar together. He just sleeps. He bounce on clouds. Oops. I heard 3DO was pretty well respected for what it was, though. At least that's what some 3DO site I saw said. <laughs> I think it was Jaguar and Turbo Graphics that were not. Let me out. Huh? Oh! Could have gotten that one up. Got eaten too fast. <laughs> yeah, does that mean this is a boss battle? <laughs> Wait, what? Am I supposed to know which one of you is the real one? <laughs> oh, gotcha. Wait, what's that? A lamprey? What? Spoiled the act? You're my hero! You've won my heart and mind, Bonk!
He immediately leaves. No thanks. Waste him! <laughs> Good attitude. Just waste him, bruh. We've captured their hearts and their minds. Not the best music, but not too bad either. Oh, it's getting sassy. Oh. So if I'm learning anything, it's like you definitely want to bounce bad guys. Keep jokes PG-13 and positive. With this game, every joke is at least 65 million years old. Let the poor thing die. Why? I need points. Welcome in Vance. How you doing, bud? You know what? I think I'm pretty sure I was watching you the other night on TikTok. Like, as I was, like, doing my customary 40 hours scrolling through TikTok, your stream came up through there. I was like, hey, wait a minute. I can watch this on multiple formats. It's a good deal. I said the song is just okay, but it's really growing on me. Wait, I'm remembering the end of this game now. <laughs> Even if we don't get to it tonight, we should definitely finish this. It's one of your favorite games to watch. This is my first time ever playing it. Revolution is teaching me how to play it with the turbos and such. I, But I always saw the commercials as a kid and really wanted to play it. And I remember someone had it. Like, in my community, and like, I I never got to play it. I just like, saw the console. I remember being so confused by the toggle switches. I love those little guys. Are those, are those the, um, Bubble Bobble guys? I used to play Bubble Bobble with my dad a lot back in the day. No! I can... I can still get out of this. <laughs> yeah, I know. Without the turbo, my thumb would be so busted right now. Wait. Oh, I did it. I beat the level. Oh! Sorry, buddy. Into the sea you go! <laughs> You're a mangrove now. Bottom root time. Oh, there's multiple roots? <laughs> I thought I did what was supposed to happen. Oh. Quick, turn into an elk and ride your friends across. That's right, see more of those crazy... Oh! No! I got a special animation for that! <laughs> a pack horse? Yeah, you really pack it in.
I don't know why, but I love seeing those things turn to stone. This game has very interesting mechanics. This game is like a an adventure island that's fun. <laughs> Although I liked Adventure Island as a kid. That's a series I have to revisit. We really should have played Zelda 2 instead, but I'd rather play Zelda 2 on a day where we can get through it all. I just thought this thing would be a fun one to throw on. Could have gotten back into Spyro too, or Banjo Kazooie. We have both of those to work through. Although those are both games I've beaten before. We got a lot. Our backlog list. I read it out loud once. It took about like five minutes for me to read the backlog list. It's so gross. And and like the backlog list doesn't matter to me either, because like Moon Pie is always making fun of me because I'm like, oh, you're just like, oh, you're starting another game? I'm like, yeah. Eh. Hey, but I mean, we beat Sin and Punishment. <laughs> so that's one game completed. <sighs> trying to f beat 50 games this year. Oh! I can slide on the ice? Oh, God. I like how... <laughs> When he takes damage, and when he dies, he's got, like, the most deranged face. <laughs> Just the expressions in this game are crazy. Oh! Aw, he's so sad. He needs it to get hit. No! Oh! Oddish, can you give a shout out to Vance as well? Oh! Uh. Oh, yeah, tomorrow night we'll be starting the girl game Gauntlet. Uh, which is something that Rydia, streamer Rydia, set forward. Um, and it's like one good game, Little Mermaid, and then a bunch of really bad games. So if you want to see me really suffer, you can do that tomorrow. There's a bunch of people in the community doing it, too. I think a lot of them have already completed it. I'm just starting it now. I'm also doing the Bubsy 3D challenge, but my number has not been called yet for that. That's not till... I think it's like the challenge is like halfway through now, and I, I'm much, much later in the challenge. My goal is to really make my mark on the retro community by, uh, once all these other challenges are done, you know, sometime next year, when I'm when I'm much more successful and popular, much like you know our our hero Sconebone, uh, I'll be able to oh boss level, I'll be able to institute the bug on Sega Saturn challenge. In which the entire community has to play Bug. Nothing would make me happier. Oh, this guy. I remember this guy. Ouch. I mean, it's all thanks to... Thank you, Vance. It's all thanks to Revolution, though, because if I had been playing the game without the turbos, I would be... Eh! I would be a turducken right now. Wakey, wakey. Keep hitting his friggin' thing. I remember there's a boss rush at the end of this. Damn. 
Oh no. Come on, come on. His helmet's almost cracked. Am I supposed to hit those things into him, or what? Stop monkeying around? Is that a monkey? Does not look like one. You made a monkey out of me, Bonk. Come to think of it, I am a monkey. Oh, let's... What? Have you seen Princess Za? Um, I'll say one thing. Monkeys don't have spikes or scales. So... <laughs> And I know they have monkeys in Japan, snow monkeys, mountain monkeys, so I don't... Uh... I don't know if that's a translation error or just... <laughs> a fundamental misunderstanding of what a monkey is. Everyone's like telling the lead coder that monkeys are mammals. And the guy's like, no, I think I got... Yeah, but in dinosaur times, a monkey would be a dinosaur. It's like... Yeah, no. I mean, for many reasons, no, but also... <laughs> also, the the boss did not behave in a monkeyish way, aside from, I guess, throwing something? Which I guess if your only monkey frame of reference is DK, then sure, I guess? Ugh. Those things I hate. Like, what's the point? Ugh! Oh, those are baby triceratopses, just like in the D&D campaign. Ugh, I'm not trying to hurt your babies. I just happen to be hurt. I was thinking about at the end of A Bug's Life when Hopper gets eaten by the little chicks. <laughs> That's a dark shit right there. It's a dark shit. Ugh. Well, I guess it's okay to die at the beginning of a world, right? Cause you can just go back. Oh. I wonder if bouncing the sign in Sonic the Hedgehog was inspired by this. <laughs> it is satisfying to knock out the big Triceratops. Are you kidding me? How did that guy get the best of me? You really made a monkey out of me. Come to think of it, I am a monkey. Which is better, Bonk's Adventure or Super Princess Peach? What the hell? Oh, right, right, right. I do kind of like the way the... the live system work in this game like a brawler where it's like oh you don't have to go back to the beginning of the level uh 
That was nice. <laughs> ah! No! Damn kid, I'll sue! There we go. Yoink. <laughs> Pretty ominous level exits in this game. What, boss already? No. What? Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Rocky Balboa. <laughs> Rung his bell. He has such pretty eyes. You really rang my bell on that one. It feels great to be up here in the light. Now I can find my beloved princess. Bonk has nothing to say to them. He's just like, whatever, man. Waste them. Hey, you reuse that one. Begin five round. <laughs> you mean round five? <laughs> well, whatever. I can't go in these doors, can I? <laughs> that would be a quite the remarkable late game discovery. <laughs> if you could go in the fucking doors. <laughs> and I've just been missing side content this whole time. What? It's interesting, you can bonk them from the top or the bottom. I knew it! And yet, I did nothing. Oops. Stop bonking my noggin. <laughs> the cool people begin five rounds. Ah! Bonk me, Amadeus. Hey, Barracords, what's up? How you doing? Bonk me like one of your French girls. The little thing. I like how those dinosaurs are like bonk wannabes. Bonk is a great name for a character, by the way. You know what he's about. Oh. 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 See what I'm like? Maybe I should stop using the turbo so relentlessly. That's what happens. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm frothing. The way his eyes bulge and he just starts frothing is really upsetting. It's really upsetting. And then he just dies and lays down into the O of his own name. I don't mind this game, like, at all. At first when I started playing it, I was like, oh, it's not... It's not quite as perfect as my my kid brain wanted it to be, but 
it's honestly really solid. Like, having played some really lousy mascot, like mascot platformers are kind of my jam. It's like what I played the most of when I was a kid. And there's so many of them in the 90s that like, oh, I didn't know I had super jump in this form. Nice. Oh, I lost super jump. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Give All Bonk really needs is Yoshi's tongue, and then he'd be a complete person. Maybe that's my problem, and why I can't find anyone in the dating pool, is that I want everyone to be Yoshi. And they can't be. Just like all male Pokemon fans want their date to be Vaporeon. Actually, that might be another problem. Come to think of it. Or come while thinking of it. Hey! Wait, are we getting towards the end of this game? No, wait. Not really. But we might be getting towards the boss rush, I'm not sure. It's a shame I have to get up so early tomorrow, or I, otherwise I'd just stream all night, but... Keep going, see how far we can get. Ooh! This game is so much better than Power Pigs. I don't even want to think about Power Pigs. If you guys want a really dumb, semi-obscure... I mean, I, maybe it's super obscure. I don't think I've heard anyone talk about it. Besides me and, like, an old YouTube video I watched that was like, Is this game any good? No, it's not. So it's just that these, it's like, should you waste your time playing this? No. And I'm like, I'll check it out. I'll give it a shot. That game stunk. Oh. Honestly, I think one of the harder challenges in this game was just figuring out that dinosaur uvula level. Wait, how am I supposed to do this? Ugh. Just take the hits. Ah! Eyes are glowing with a cool effect. Ah! Snap goblins! Spooky little Ash! What is up, you beautiful angel? How are you doing? Hey! You got that! That's the kind of shout out I like to see. Give the lady what she deserves. Besides the keys to the kingdom. Oh my god, you guys! This entire freaking game. I did not realize you could just swim up by tapping up. I've been swimming. No wonder there's so many challenges. Yeah, you are a good Jarvis. Let's give some mod appreciation to Oddish right there. I can't believe I screwed that up so royally. Oh, shucks. Wait, what's this? I found the developer room. I 
can't even get those. Wait, so I can go in certain rooms? Yeah, was that you? You can just... Oh yeah, you're just knocking stuff around, okay. So how you doing, Ash? Ash is a plenty. I got so out of the habit of calling Oddish Ash. So we have Ashlyn, my spooky little Ash. I'm just gonna call spooky little Ash Goddess from now on. That way it really narrows it down. Did you stream tonight, Ash? Spooky little Ash, Goddess. Oh, Schneeps. Okay, here we go. I'm good, getting my other half of chest tattoo this week. Oh nice, what's the design? <laughs> I wonder if Scone has this game. Oh shit! Cause he has a PC Engine, right? He was playing Splatterhouse. Maybe this wouldn't appeal to him? He did seem to like, he did, I don't think he has the same affinity for mascot games that I do. As an EverDriver PC, oh gotcha. I actually don't know what an EverDrive is, but I assume it's something that lets you play a lot of old games. Sometimes there'll be something like Bug, where I'm like, I really want Scone to play this, but then I'm like, I don't want Scone to have to buy a Sega. Although he said he was thinking about getting a Sega Saturn suit. Flash stores you can copy a bunch of games too. Gotcha, gotcha. So it's like a retro pie kind of thing? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna die. Oh shit! Because the game is running at a slower frame rate now, it's not getting my th things. I didn't stream tonight, just played some Fortnite to get a certain cute skin I want. Oh nice, which one? And tattoo is blue blackberry leaves and a moon for uh, my little uh, touch heart. Plus, makes me look hotter than I am, you know? Impossible, you're already at peak hotness for my little touch heart. Touch hearts. No, it says it says very clearly touch hearts. Touch heart will follow. Witchy witchy. Touch hearts with me. That sounds like something they'd do in Kingdom Hearts. Or any other anime. Bink bonk, funk your life. Hey prof, welcome in. What's up, bud? We've just been discussing how good. Uh, bug is and how we wish we were playing that a lot of people don't know this but bug isn't just a character in the game bug he's also an actor <laughs> anytime I just think about doing that bit again it's not even a bit it's true bug is an actor in the game bug he plays the role of bug Prof, you remember how disappointed we were when we started Bug 2? And we're like, this isn't as good. We still should do Bug 2 at some point. Hydrate? Okay, I've been doing some hydrating. Well, I'll do more for you, my queen. I mean, my goddess. Goddess queen. This agent should have talked about... I mean, the fact that he went from being top billing... Good job. <laughs> I've gone, I've become like her servant. I'm here for it, though. I could do worse. I've simped for voice.
Wasn't there a... A meat in this level? Maybe the meat is only when you get the jump out. Oh, hello. Am I supposed to... If I beat the meat on this side... Yeah, I don't know what the ideal way to do this is. Oh, maybe it's just a straight jump. Maybe I'm overthinking. Oh, no. What goes up did not come down that time. There we go. I need healing. I need healing. It's a weird mechanic. Oh! That red ball got me. That's the bad one. Yep. Oh, you son of a gun. Yeah, I gotta get that. Gotta get that. Alright. We'll give this one more continue for now. Let's see how far we can get. Oh. See if we can get to that boss rush. Then we'll do Girl Game Gauntlet tomorrow and Wednesday, and then Thursday we will do um, Dungeons and Dragons and go to that pirate bachelor party. And then Friday, I don't know what we'll do. I feel like I should probably stream. I don't normally stream on Fridays because I feel like most people are... It always seems like it's a light stream day for me. But... Uh, Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Okay, we're in the castle. How you doing, Meowthy? You good? Just been entertaining yourself well. I still can't believe how dumb I was. Not realizing I can just swim normally in this game. I literally walk down this whole hallway, taking damage all the time, just surviving by iframes. Okay, so you don't want to feed him. What? But he's already in danger. But I got snapped and that's it. Can you hit them from behind? Oh. It seems too dangerous to risk that. It seems like they do a full heart of health, too. Oh, that's neat. I can deflect Sin and Punishment style. Yoink. Okay, there we go. <laughs> you can go straight under those guys and bonk them up. Oh, 
I gotta say, I kind of love this game. It has a glide mechanic. Using turbo is an interesting game mechanic, too, because, like, you're so conditioned, I think, like, for most part, as a retro gamer to think turbo is kind of cheating. And, and especially past a certain point, they stopped using it as a mechanic in controllers, too. But I always just think of Metal Gear Solid, where Ocelot ties you to the torture machine, and he's like, and don't even think about using auto-fire, because I'll know. Let's see if I can get any meat out of you, big boy. Ha! The meat will set you free! Bonk can't stop the rock. Oh no. Mm, shit. What I really need is... Oh, well, I probably needed that, but... And that. Whoa, that's weird. As they crack, it looks like they're bleeding. Maybe that's just an effect, or maybe it's... there's something alive in there? The meat! I think Bonk's objective ultimately is to rescue the princess. But I don't think they... Sort of like with Mario, I don't think they clearly set that out in this one. I think you just start up. Maybe it's in the instruction manual, you know? A lot of game objectives and stuff like that were just relegated to the instruction manual in retro games. But I know there is a princess in this, and it's a really funny princess, too. Oh no, pollen. It's a magic Koopa. Sproink. What, this sound? Of him rotating a million times? I find it soothing, because it reminds me of... how many times I'm rotating.
Five four. The exact height of being a short king. <laughs> hey, Bonk's just trying to live his life. He doesn't need your judgment. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's... <laughs> Yeah, to me, it could sound like nails on a chalkboard, but if it means I get to hover in a video game... Like, hovering is my favorite thing to be able to do in a video game outside of using a grappling hook. I mean, he eats a healthy diet of meat every day. He's gonna live forever. Whop, whop, whop. Ooh. Interesting that they turn blue. I don't know what that signifies. I think red is bad. Oh, what is happening? I was, like, pressing it on the exact frame that just busts it. What? What are you? Your existence is flawed. Why is this happening? <laughs> like, legit, why is this happening? Did I use the turbo to jump there? Is that what you're trying to say? Nope. Why is it eating my inputs all of a sudden? Okay, great. Wow. Welcome to hell, kid. Oh, I got an extra life for doing that. Nice. See, Bug wishes he could move like Bonk does. <laughs> yes! Yes! I'm the king of the castle! this room so you can go in some rooms <laughs> it just doesn't seem like that's something you would want to go in right oh oh no Oh, this is... Well, I really did get to the end of the game quickly. This is, like, boss rush territory. I didn't see the first half of this game being played, so I didn't realize. It's a relatively short game. Good game, though. I feel like I remember Mixer bonking his head against those things and then, like, 
like just one of them had. A secret in it. What? Oh my god. What a weird mechanic to suddenly throw into the game. Oh, that's just a spire. I thought it was something interesting. Ow! I gotta imagine Bonk is, like, eating the water, drinking the water as he's climbing. But probably chomping the water is more accurate. Deathless in this, I bet. Yeah, I bet. You would have to, because sometimes the inputs don't feel very precise. You would have to be really skillful, I think, to do that. And you also don't have... He doesn't have, like, a whip, like in Castlevania. Oh, God. Sorry about that. I didn't realize there was going to be an epileptic trigger right there. Eh? What's with the egg? <laughs> this guy I remember seeing in the ads for this game and being like, that's the kind of beautiful character design I want. Yeah, he's my friend, but not the statue that came to life of him. See? This one I don't really know how to do. Legit don't know. It's like I just keep taking hits. Are they both fake? I don't understand. Okay. Oh, there's the fake worm thing. Why is it being so stingy with the... the... the hit detection on this? Yeah, it just feels more precise than, like, that didn't hit, because I hit it on the glasses. Gladys is a run killer. Like, legit, very hard. Ah! That's where it is.
I knew there was stuff in there. That's all thanks to Mixer. I was no good at this guy the first time, too. It's just a little precise, and I'm not very precise. Okay. Press the wrong button there. I got two hits on that. Okay. Fuck, I think this is the end. Yep, that's it. Bummer. Okay. Just for shits and giggles, let's see where they place me. When we continue. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So let's make a save state there. We're very close to the end. But uh, we'll save that for next time. Right now, let us pop out. Um, yeah, let's go over to Jess the Mess game she's playing right now. Doing some Yoshi. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you to Sconebone and his community for... Oh man, I got super washed out again as the night went on. I'm gonna adjust it for no reason at the end of stream. Let's see if that helps. Um, thank you to everybody who's here. Thank you to the new follows. Uh, thanks to all the new friends and chatters. And yeah, thanks to Scone. Congratulations on those three years, uh, doing it and keep on growing that stream. Thank you, Vance. Uh, thank you, Bonk. Thank you, Moon Pie, for requesting sin and punishment earlier. We'll be back tomorrow with Rydia's girl game gauntlet. Rydia is a great member of the retro community. Came up with a bunch of girl games from the 90s and 2000s that are going to be crazy painful to get through. So we'll be doing those tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern. Really starting to. And we'll do the rest of them as many as we can on um, on uh, Wednesday. And then on Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, we'll be doing Dungeons and Dragons, Pirate Bachelor Party. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, thank you to all of you guys. We're going to raid out now. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Don't appreciate me. Appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, have a good rest of your night. Bye bye.